What's going on everybody? Quick programming update. A few days ago I made an announcement we're going to have several guests here on the Geeks and Gamers channel. I announced that Andy Signore would be here and he will be here. I announced that Kim Iverson, a political analyst, will be here and she will be here. I announced that Quarter Black Garrett, producer of the Steven Crowder show, will be here and he will be. And I also announced that Earthworm Jim creator Doug Tenaple would be here once again. And unfortunately I'm going to have to cancel the appearance of Doug Tenaple. Now what's going on is in the comics industry there is a lot of controversy going on uh, a lot of it's taking place on Twitter and some of it is bleeding over on to the YouTube sphere um, Doug Tenaple and Ethan Van Skyver Ethan Van Skyver is the creator of Cyber Frog Blood Honey and Doug Tenaple with Earthworm Jim these are the two most successful Indiegogo campaigns for comics uh, incredible hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and thousands and thousands of backers uh, great job to both both of these uh, men uh, for just running amazing, successful campaigns. Now, a few days ago, Doug blocked Ethan on Twitter, and that was a big problem for a lot of people, and it has created an absolute firestorm. Um, so, with the brand that I have here and everything going on, obviously, if I bring Doug on this channel right now with everything going on, I'm going to need to ask Doug some really uncomfortable questions, some really tough questions, because that's what I do. And unfortunately, Doug does not want to talk about any of this publicly, and I totally respect that. I totally do. But for me and my brand, and for me to uh, be the person that my audience has always expected me to be, uh, for everybody that's subscribed to this channel and everyone that knows me, you know that I don't really, I don't really get told what to do. I do what I want, and, and not that Doug was telling me what to do, but it's just a, it's just a timing situation. He's in a situation that he doesn't want to talk about publicly, and I respect that. But unfortunately, my brand is to ask the tough questions and to address the things that people don't want to address. And if we cannot come to that agreement, then it's just not going to work for either one of us. And Doug respected my decision uh, to have to cancel his appearance on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's my audience that I feel I'm letting down because I feel that we have made an announcement and now we're not going to be able to follow through with that announcement. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that my audience is going to appreciate the fact that if I can't give you the interview that I feel you deserve based on the circumstances that are going on, then I think you're going to ulti ultimately be happy. Because I don't do this for press passes, I don't do this for uh, credentials, I don't do this to get free things, I don't do this to get special access. Um, this is why I don't get press passes uh, like some other YouTubers uh, to movie premieres and Galaxy's Edge and all this other stuff. I, I, I probably will never get that and that's fine because I work for the people. I work for the people that subscribe to this channel, that send Super Chats, that uh, support us on Subscribestar, um, that share our videos, like our videos and comment on those videos. You are who I work for. And so um, I, I had to make this decision. It's an unfortunate decision, but I think it's the best decision for our audience, for Doug and for myself. So I think all parties involved uh, will be happy. I also tried uh, to get Doug and Ethan on for a live stream here because I know both of these guys. Um, I obviously have known Ethan a lot longer than Doug. I've only met Doug once. I met Doug at, at uh, uh, San Diego Comic-Con. I'm drawing a blank. I met Doug at San Diego Comic-Con a, a little week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, Talked to him for five minutes, and then I met him once uh, at this uh, burger place that he and Mike Miller were at. And, you know, Nerdrotic and I just went in there, shook his hand, took a couple of selfies, and then we had to bounce because we had our own fan meetup going some going on somewhere else. But, um, but I like Doug. I wish Doug nothing but success with his Earthworm Jim campaign. Um, and if you're still interested in supporting that campaign, I will leave links below here in the description. I'll also, there's a lot of amazing things going on within the Comics Gate movement and the comics industry as a whole. And if I can get a few more links from a few more Go Indiegogo campaigns that are that are currently active, I will feel feel free to share those in the link below too. Um, I do have a few issues myself with Comics Gate and some of the things going on, um, but they're minor issues in the big scheme of things, I believe. Um, there's a little factions within Comics Gate. There's some things going on with some of the, the leads of Comics Gate, but I am not that involved with this, so some of the things, some of the problems I might have just might be being uneducated on a lot of the details going on. Um, but I wish all of those guys the best, and if any of those guys from the Comics Gate or non-Comics Gate want to come on here and talk to me, I have no problem doing that as long as scheduling permits. Um, anything you need me to do to, to promote any of your comics, I, I, I am okay with that. Um, I am not someone that chooses sides. I'm not someone that's going to be told what to do and who I can talk to and who I can support and all of that stuff. Stuff. So if you're one of those people that are trying to 
determine what I do, uh, continue to do it. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you to Doug for respecting my wishes, um, and thank you to everybody for supporting the channel. Uh, check out all of the links below if there's any of these campaigns that you want to support. You have my blessing to support any of them or support none of them, but please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, check out geeksandgamers.com, and uh, subscribe to our sports channel, Sports Wars, where we are revamping Sports Wars. We have a former NFL player joining the team. This is official, and we're going to be rolling that out very soon, and I am excited as hell. Have a great day and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.